Yeah, well, it's a really nice start for us, I think, um, in terms of a couple of really good outcomes um, to start off the tour. It couldn't have gone much better for us. Um, I think, you know, probably both teams feel like they've got better cricket in them, especially from a batting point of view. But, um, yeah, for us to uh, um, be successful in those first two matches is really nice um, and a really great way to start. Any areas for improvement you guys have identified? Ahead of <laughs> uh, yeah, again, probably just um, from a batting point of view, I think you know, both sides have found it tricky at times. I think, you know, both teams have exceptional bowling units and um, so I don't think we've sort of ever seen it as it was going to be an easy challenge, but I think just in terms of um, the way that we've played, there's probably some you know, some things in there that we could do a little bit better. Um, and, you know, I mean, we've batted second twice, so I, I think, you know, it's been good that we've been able to chase totals. Um, but yeah, if we get a chance to bat, bat first, I think there's probably some opportunity there to improve the way that we've played just in terms of um, scoring opportunities and intent and, you know, not losing wickets at key times. How long did it take you to get over chasing that wide one? Um, you know what? Um, there's actually an absolute carbon copy of um, that that wicket um, playing here at the the Kent, the Kent right. ground when I um, when I did the same thing in a in a test match. So um, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of a case of lightning strikes twice, but um, oh, it's fine. It's the way it goes, and um, it's just yeah, cricket really. <laughs> Speaking of returning to this ground, it must hold some pretty good memories for the team after four years ago. Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, I was sort of thinking about the amount of tests that I've played, um, you know, and when you win one, it's really special because it, it, it's probably, you know, I've won a couple, lost a couple, and then the rest have all been draws. So to, um, yeah, to win a, a match is always really, really satisfying. And I think um, certainly winning over here in England at this ground was really nice. I think I remember the balcony really fondly. It's a great spot to s stand up and watch from and... Um, yeah, it's kind of nice to return to places that you've been to successful at, for sure. You've, you're batting pretty well, obviously, before you got out. <laughs> you feel good about your form? Um, oh, look, it's kind of one of those ones where it's match by match a little bit. Like, um, I don't feel unhappy about my form. I think, you know, we've had really great preparation, especially back home and then coming over here. We've been here for a couple of weeks now and everyone's adjusted. And I think the really cool thing about our group um, you know, we've spoken about this a lot in the last 18 months, is just the fact that we've got so many people contri contributing at, at really important times. And um, so, like, I thought Beth and, and Jess at the end there of that match was absolutely clinical. Like, it could have been a really tricky chase, especially when I got out. Um, you know, it was probably really poor timing, but they just picked up the ascendancy and went with it. So, um, yeah, I think everyone's in pretty good form, and it's just a case of who gets an opportunity in, in each match. Did, um, is it any sort of motivation that you can I suppose win the Ashes in the test match if you get up tomorrow can't you? Um, oh, yeah there's always motivation around that I think you're just chasing points every game um, in a series like this it's so tight and it can swing really quickly and I think we're really well aware of that like the past couple of series we've probably let England back in in the last ODI match and um, I think we're really keen not to do that this time and I know they'd be really keen to to get one back so um, this match is a really important one in terms of the series going forward obviously the test match as well being worth four points but I think um, yeah in terms of just the scheme of things and keeping momentum um, this match tomorrow is really really key. Is there, will there be any consideration given to switching up the, the lineup given Tay and Nick have been going well in for Aussie? Uh, I've, I don't really know to be honest um, yeah I, I think it's really Brilliant that we've got the Aussie squad over here, and that um, a couple of girls from our our, um, our squad, if they don't get an opportunity in a match, get to go back and play. Um, I think it it really feels like we've got a double <laughs> double the size of our, our squad a little bit, and like it, it's really nice to have that strength in numbers and um, those girls getting an opportunity, as well as some of the Aussie girls performing really well. I noticed um, some of the scores yesterday; it was really pleasing. So, uh, yeah, look, I think the point is that anyone's ready to play at any time and I think certainly the way that Taylor's been bowling in the last couple of months and Nick's um, had great one day international form for a year or so now so um, if they come in they'll do a great job but I'm not really sure what the intention is yet. Um, you spoke about what Australia might try to do if they bat first. Are the batting conditions here usually pretty good? <laughs> I played here once. Um, I didn't bat for very long but I think if you ask Jess Jonathan she'd say they're pretty good batting conditions here. Um, I think yeah, mostly around the country we're going to um, experience pretty good wickets and yeah it's a really good challenge for the, for whatever team bats first tomorrow because I think you know both both 
innings have been under par um, on, on that ground at Leicester. And so I think today, uh, tomorrow is a really cool opportunity for maybe the batters to get one back. Did it, I mean, obviously this week's been great, been at the start of the Ashes, but sort of a month or so ago, were you pining for football? <laughs> no, God, no. no? <laughs> um, look, I've loved watching it, um, but... Yeah, oh gosh, I think my last game of football was four or five years ago. Yeah. So um, I think what's been amazing um, and really, really exciting just for women's sport in general is like looking at the, the crowd numbers at that tournament, um, the interest in it, you know, like the way it was covered back home, particularly when the Matildas were playing. Like there was a real expectation and genuine, um, you know, <laughs> high price on, on them doing well. And I think um, it's really wonderful to see that because people really care about how our national sporting teams and our female national sporting teams are now going. And I think, you know, we feel the same as well now when we travel and we're playing in important tournaments. People are really interested to, to know how we're going. So um, from that point of view, it was, it was brilliant. Um, I got a real buzz out of, you know, watching the semi-final the other night when America were playing England and, and to know that 11.7 million people tuned in here just to watch that, which I think is one-sixth of the population. Like That, that speaks volumes for it. Um, so, yeah, it's been a pretty brilliant couple of years for women's sport.